Want to be a molecular biologist? Well, you can be at the world's first community laboratory. It works a lot like a gym. Uh, the idea is that you come whenever you'd like and you just you pay dues like you would in a gym. Using mostly donated equipment and found materials, a small group of biology enthusiasts recently created this lab at a warehouse in Brooklyn, New York. We built the lab right on this big open space. It's, it's a big glass cube. All the materials that we've made it out of are found materials, so glass doors, uh, windows that were salvaged and repurposed. 22.5. But why would people want to run lab experiments in their spare time? It is attractive to people who have ideas that aren't necessarily useful, but they're certainly fun. One of the first projects being developed by the Gen Space team is a device that will be launched by helium balloons 30 kilometers into the Earth's stratosphere in search of remote signs of life. The High Altitude Microbial Sampling Station, or HAMS for short, uh, is a weather balloon that's going to be lofted up to about 100,000 feet into the stratosphere, capture microbes, hopefully, bring them down uh, in a sterile uh, package, in a, in a sealed package, and then have them analyzed. So far, the garage biotechnologists have just built a prototype of their microbe catcher, but they hope to launch the real deal later this year. Genspace is much more than just a laboratory for do-it-yourselfers. It also provides hands-on educational courses for people to come and learn. It's not just scientists who are working in the lab. It's people who are bringing their own curiosity about the world um, and bringing it to our lab and exploring. The Genspace founders see themselves on the vanguard of a new movement of DIY biology. So Genspace is the first community bio lab, but it certainly won't be the last. I, I get the sense that there'll be a lot more labs popping up all over the country and all over the world. And they think labs like Genspace could revolutionize the study of biology. Now that we've reached a certain level of, of knowledge in the information age. We've come to, the, you know, it's open space for another age, and I think that age will be the biological age. And I think, you know, the next great PC computer or Apple computer won't be a computer at all. It'll be this amazing uh, bacteria that has this amazing application that everyone's going to want to have. I don't know what it is yet. If I knew, I'd be, I wouldn't be talking to you here. <laughs> For Nature Medicine, I'm Ailey Dolgan.